Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Coach Coco and I love volleyball. So much so my channel is full of tips, tricks, hacks, and anything you could ever need to know about volleyball. So today, I'm gonna talk to you about how to float serve. A lot of you guys ask me about the float serve and I want to be able to teach you the steps that I know how to best float serve, especially if you're transitioning from the overhand serve, the standard one I taught you, and you wanna move into something a little bit more tricky. So let's get right into it. So before we start this video, let me show you a little shameless promo. Look at my cute shirt. You can get you a You've Got Block shirt also by going to CocoBelly.com or checking below in the description box. Now, with the float serve, remember the steps from the overhand serve. If you need a refresher, go check out that video. I'll have it right here. Now, the overhand serve and the float serve, very very similar like almost the same like I'm not joking almost the same except for one step there is one thing that is different about the float serve it is your hand placement so when we talk about the steps of the overhand serve we still have that non-dominant arm we still have our, our shoulder open up elbow high we still have the bow and the arrow we still have the step into it same steps so let's start from there and now when i talked about the overhand serve i kind of used the analogy of like you're throwing a baseball and you finish all the way through with the float serve you're actually not going to finish all the way through you're going to have your hands like you're giving somebody a high five you're going to serve high five and then you're just going to stop it is just a straight high five and stop so it's just a little bit different it takes a while but before we actually get into what that serve looks like let me show you the difference between a toss that looks like an overhand standard serve and then a float serve so when you're thinking about an overhand standard serve it's very similar to a down ball so a down ball is one that has a trajectory with a little bit more spin on it now a lot of the times with volleyball statistics and USA Volleyball, whenever you see kind of at the championship level or you see NCAA tournaments, a lot of the female and male players, they no longer do just that standing overhand serve. That's because it's traditionally pretty easy to receive and we want to kind of have some spontaneity and we want to give the, some variety to the team and we don't want to be so predictable. So I suggest that once you've moved past your overhand standard serve, you should start working on more advanced serves such as the float serve the jump serve and working on your spot placement and I'll have some spot placement videos in the future but we want to make sure that we're working on something more advanced especially if you feel like you've already tapped out that overhand serve so I'm just gonna talk about the float standing serve we'll get into jump float another time so once again a down ball is pretty easy to receive when you're in practice your coach is hitting to you they're giving you down balls so that means that you're getting conditioned to get better to attack those down balls so that means that it's the libero who is such a strong passer you don't want to give them something you know they can get so we want to give them something that's going to be challenging for them something that's going to be tough for them and that could be a float serve Float serves are difficult because whenever you're down in position, a float serve often will move in the air and it's hard for me to read and a lot of players to read, okay, she's standing over there, she's serving it to me, but it moved in the air. And a lot of float serves tend to come in that mid chest region of a lot of players, so it's hard to receive. So what the float serve, what's different is, it doesn't have that spin. Sometimes it has a very light spin, but most of the time, it just coast through the air and those can be deadly especially if you get a float serve that is so close to the net deadly my man it's so hard to receive so hard to read and that's why we love them and a lot of times in tournaments and vlogs you see me doing jump float love it so with the float serve let's talk about that hand placement i'm gonna hit right into the net because i don't want the ball to go far because it's like a forest back here but let me show you that body position once again the body position we're having is our arm extended i still have my bow and arrow shoulder my toss and i come out and i stop don't forget to step into it i come out and i stop just like i'm high-fiving someone so let me show you what that looks like on the net so you can see exactly what i mean by deadly so i'm here i know that you guys may be a little confused because you can't see me all the way but here 
I would love to get a slow-mo. I'm here. Very little thin. I'm getting very little thin. Now I'm gonna step back just a little bit so we can see if we can get an actual trajectory so you guys can see that. if you feel comfortable enough and you've moved past the standard overhand serve. This is like the next level up. So I hope that you like this tutorial on the standing float serve. I would love to give you more tutorials to help you with your game. So give me some suggestions below. I know you want to see the jump serve. I'm working on that one. But make sure you share this video with somebody who needs it. Please like, comment, subscribe, and check out my merch store. And I will see you guys next time. Keep practicing.